New York City, everybody, here we are. City of dreams. That's how they bill it, right? City where dreams come true. Have you looked around? Does it look like people's dreams are coming true out there? Oh, look, a Mexican man delivering Chinese food on a bicycle. Just like he always dreamed back home. A family digging through the garbage for bottles and cans because they're just that passionate about the environment. Do what you love and the money will come. A nickel at a time. People working two and three part-time jobs into their 30s and 40s, having two and three roommates. A lot of people seem to have that dream in New York. And it is coming true. Living in New York is like one extended game of how well are you hiding your poverty? <laughs> and depression. Some days you'll hide the poverty better, other days the depression. But when you get that balance just right, oh, people say, look, that guy's dreams are coming true. Let's get a selfie with him. Everybody's hustling in New York. Overworked, underpaid. Sometimes you just get hired for jobs you didn't even apply for. I drive a 2007 Toyota Prius, charcoal gray, nondescript. But now that Uber and Lyft exist, people just get into my car <laughs> routinely. Just recently, this young woman gets in my car, announces, we're going to Brooklyn. Starts waving her girlfriends over. I'm like, whoa, whoa, we're not going to Brooklyn. She's like, excuse me? I'm like, I'm not a cab driver. She's like, what? I'm like, this is not a cab. I'm a person who has a car and drives himself places he needs to go. And then she was horrified when she realized that she like ran out traumatized into the embrace of her friends as if I had done something wrong. I was like, you broke into my car. And she was so sure of herself that I was like, maybe I do work for Uber. Like, is this how they hire you? Someone just gets in and it's like, all right, where, where in Brooklyn? Where do you... I just want to get a good review. I hit a cop car with my car. I don't recommend doing that. I was driving home with my fiance. We were just a few blocks from home. We were passing by this cafe that I go to from time to time. I noticed it peripherally that they were open later than usual. So I turned my head like, oh, they're open later than usual. <laughs> when I turned back, the words police were getting closer and closer. I rammed into the cop car's bumper and I, my fiance to her credit didn't say anything, but I could just feel everything she was thinking. I was like, you're right. You're absolutely right about all of it. The cop car, we're at a light. The cop car turns off to a side street. So then I turn to my fiance, like, should we just get the hell out of here? Like, it's like, no, we can't do that. So then I turn and follow the cop and pull up behind him. Now all of a sudden it's like, I'm pulling him over. So maybe I work for the NYPD now. So then we're just sitting and waiting. Cop finally gets out, ambles over. First thing he says is, bad idea hitting a fucking cop car. I was like, yeah, actually it wasn't my idea. It just happened. Then he was kind of like pacing around. Like, remember when you were a kid and your parents were almost like searching for the punishment? They were beside themselves. So I'm waiting, finally he's like, fuck it, I don't want to deal with this. I was like, that was my solution. Then he goes, you were never here. Which I thought was almost existential. Like, are any of us ever really, <laughs> truly here? <laughs> then he turns and walks back to his car. As he's about to get in, he turns back and says, oh, are you okay? I was like, yeah, we're fine, are you okay? He's like, yeah. Gets into his car, drives away. 
I turn to my fiance and say, I don't know what these black folks are complaining about. That could not have been a more pleasant exchange. I felt safe, I felt protected. I felt like my life mattered. It was like we were thrust into a commercial for white privilege. <laughs> if you're not sure whether or not your life matters, I suggest that you hit a cop car. <laughs> Just see how the rest of the exchange goes. It'll be a little different for everyone. Results may vary. Some assembly required. <laughs>